tonight at 6 and 11. The following is a special presentation of ABC Sports. ABC Sports presents live in its 30th season, the Professional Bowlers Tour. Today, from Peoria, Illinois, it's the $200,000 True Value Open. In our first game, looking for his first PBA title, we'll see Curtis Odom of Winston-Salem, North Carolina. His opponent won just three weeks ago at Long Island from Richardson, Texas, Del Ballard, Jr. The winner of that game will face the third-seeded bowler from Topeka, Kelly Kaufman. Entering the semifinal game will be a two-time champion bowling out of Indianapolis now, George Branham III. And our tournament leader is the reigning player of the year with 10 PBA championships and Leto Monicelli. And that's our outstanding field of five for this afternoon's True Value Open Finals on the Professional Bowlers Tour telecast. This week, the Professional Bowlers Tour is stopped in Peoria, that rebounding city of 350,000 people on the banks of the Illinois River. They came here for the $200,000 True Value Open. Hi. Nearly 100 years of automobile history right here. A car that was built here in Peoria, 1898 by Charles Durier. Yes, one of the first automobiles built in America and truly a classic car and concerned citizens here in Peoria repurchased it from a collector in England at a cost of $125,000 to bring it back to its place of birth. Well, this area had a birth 300 years ago. That's right, when the first European settlement took place here by the French. But predating that, in 1671, uh, Father Marquette and Joliet discovered the Illinois River, this beautiful, fertile valley. Take a look at it. Well, bowling fans have had a look at a lot of 300 games at Landmark Lanes this week. And you know, since this is the true value, if a bowler can bowl a perfect 300 game, he'll be presented a check for $200,000. Time to go to Landmark now, and from the Mississippi River, my colleague, Nelson Burton, Jr. Hello. Thank you, Chris Schenkel. Don't get a speeding ticket in that three-cylinder automobile. And not far from the Illinois River is Landmark Recreation Center, and once again has lived up to its reputation as being the highest scoring bowling tournament on the PBA Tour. 1989, we set a record here with 13 300 games. 1990, 11 300 games. And so far in 1991, we've already had 12 300 games, including back-to-back -back 300s during the tournament by Ryan Schaefer and Edwards. And so we could see more of that action today. But the whole story lies with the whole field. Look at how they average. Those scores, those plus figures, are averages over 200 for 42 games. Look at Monicelli, almost 2,000 pins over 200 on down through 12th place, and even 24th place, Michael Newman, at 1,184 pins over 200, would have led almost every tournament on the Professional Bowlers Tour this year. So we'll see more of that action today in the final round. Now let's look at the lane condition that has produced these high scores. First place, we have oil down just 46 feet on the lane, and it's dry in the back end. And there's a little heavy concentration down the center of the lane, and it's brushed out by the PBA crew which brings oil channel to channel. Now the shot that all the players are playing, the five right-handers, is between the second and third arrows. There's a little hold spot in the center of the lane, Chris. It develops very high scores, and we'll see that today, and we'll see more action exciting on Wide World of Sports. That we will, because it's a multi-part show. The top male gymnasts compete for the all-around gold at the World Cup Gymnastics Championships. Coming up next on ABC's Wide World of Sports. Plus, live from California, the road to the Kentucky Derby continues with the Santa Anita Derby. And then, off to Aintree for coverage of the Grand National Steeplechase. On the grass and over the rush. They won't brush with uh, the $39,000 first prize today. The five, all five won it. The runner up 20, 12, nine, and seven out of a total purse of 100 or $200,000. The true value at Landmark. 
And a man who has won two majors on the right, Dell Ballard Jr., will shoot first. His opponent, a non-winner, Curtis Odom of Winston-Salem, North Carolina. The Texan, up and ready. Oh, I got the eight out. <laughs> Wearing the wireless microphone, and uh, he's a talker. Well, he said he got the eight out. As we said, there's heavy oil concentration in the middle of the lane. The one flaw to this is that the ball doesn't hit the pocket very hard, and sometimes we've seen the 8-10 split uh, during the tournament. So he's gotten an easy spare to start with. 19th telecast for Dell Ballard, Jr., winner of the 89 Firestone and the 87 United States Open. Here is Curtis Odom, seventh appearance on television. And look at that week's average, 226, almost 227 for 42 games, barely qualifying. Breaking up the split, leaving the three shot. shot. Curtis Odom with a very compact style, depends on accuracy, has a nice four-step delivery, starts the ball very quickly, shoulder high, good pivot step, in perfect position. He's an extremely accurate player. He depends on moving and adjusting the strike lane, line, adjusting balls, adjusting equipment. One of those players, Chris, is, that gets by uh, with cerebral bowling, I call it. He really gets the most out of his game. Nicely done for the professional out of Winston-Salem, North Carolina, at 5'9", 163 pounds. This 33-year-old, you watch his pre-shot ritual. He's, he goes through it each time. And that's a good habit, isn't it, Bo? That's for sure, especially under pressure. And uh, no matter how many times you bowl in a championship round with millions of people watching at home and so forth, you see him wiping the oil off the bowling ball, making sure that uh, it's nice, clean surface to start the next frame once again. He's pushing that 25-second clock. He's pretty close, Chris. You have 25 seconds mm. with which to initiate the second shot. Come on, man. Get back. Yeah, it didn't come up. He uh, wearing the wireless microphone. Curtis, one of the best frame fillers on the tour. What I mean by that, he bowls more clean games. You put a spare or strike in almost every frame, and that's one of the reasons he's such a good player out here. Odom from Winston-Salem. Dale Ballard, he won three weeks ago the Leisure Long Island Open. This is his third telecast of this year. Oh, get lucky. And again, 10-pin. The key to the good scoring in this bowling tournament has been carrying the 10-pin. As you see the profile of Dell Ballard, having a very hot year, very steady player. Look at his arm swing. Look at that perfect position. Look at how steady that head is at the point of release and that release, which is the power release, which is part of the bowling tip this week. Dell Ballard, who, as we said, won three weeks ago, and he is also, in the previous uh, week, second at Fairlanes in uh, Maryland. Last year, earning 30 or $86,000. He was third at the Firestone, which he won in 89, third at uh, the Budweiser in Cleveland, fourth at Bowler's Journal, sixth in the Japan Cup. He is a great pro. Hook. Okay. Now, Curtis Odom, as we take a look at that last shot, the head pin does most of the work. Watch the head pin go to the left sideboard, taking out the two, four, five, seven, and eight. Curtis Odom kind of waiting here for his next shot. The lane 37 out of this 60 lane bowling, uh, 50 lane bowling center did not reset on that strike ball. He didn't want to be disturbed in the middle of his approach. So that doesn't affect his time caught. He's ready to go third frame. Spare up. Butch Soper, again, our statistician today. Could be. Come on, baby, do that. Yes. Okay, Curtis Odom bowled well in college and on the regional circuit, but waited until he was 30 years old. Why did he wait so long to come out on the tour? Well, when I first, I came out early in 82, but I didn't have the backing to really stay out for a long stint. 
and then I went back and I bowled a lot of regionals, got a lot more experience, and then came out and went full time in '89. Financial backing necessary to bowl on the tour, Chris. I'd say a minimum of eight hundred and fifty dollars per week. So mm -hmm. it's no Sunday picnic unless you got great talent like this man. Come on, baby. Come on, baby. Living a four pin. Okay. Last year, Take although it. he didn't win, he won fifty-two thousand dollars. Third in Wichita, third at the Showboat Doubles. Chris almost gets a good break tripping out the the nine pin and almost carries out the four to make it a double. With this spare conversion of the fourth frame, the match will be even. All right, very close first match in the finals of the True Value Open. 39,000 of the winner will be back. It's what more men reach for to prepare, to prevent, to protect. Speed Stick, 110% protection. No better way to face the day. No better way to face the day. Speed Stick, 110% protection. In America, your car is not just something you own. It's a part of your life. To give your car complete protection, Haviland is introducing new Haviland Formula 3 motor oil with not one but three kinds of protection against heat stress, starting friction, and engine dirt. New Haviland Formula 3. Add more life to your car. We invested $100 million in the latest diagnostic equipment and another $5 million a year training our expert technicians to use it. Goodyear Certified Auto Service Retailers, and we believe everything we do, from tires to tune-ups, should live up to the most exacting standards of all, yours and ours. Good tires, good service, good people, Goodyear. In Peoria, neither bowler has been able to pull away from the other. Now with a strike, 10 pin roll up, roll up. All right. Okay, Ballard. Doubling early here in the first game of our finals takes a 10 pin lead and Odom is moving over now. We know what Del Ballard's most disappointing moment was. What was his most rewarding, more important? I look back on it now and would have to say beating Pete Weber for the U.S. Open in the $100,000 uh, in 1987. Uh, at the time, it wasn't, you know, it was a great thrill, but now that I've thrown the gutter ball and everything, that's probably my, my greatest thrill. Del Ballard of Richardson, Texas. Something to watch for in these championship lanes, and we saw it all day Thursday and all day Friday, observing the players. As each succeeding game goes along, the oil or conditioner in the center of the lane gets carried a little farther down the lane and sets up a really nice shot to the pocket. And so each game, we expect to see the scores go up and up. Lots of speed in covering. 3-6. Curtis Odom, a product of Winston-Salem College. And speaking of that, in Columbus, Ohio, later here in this month, the Intercollegiate Bowling Championships. Starting with 108 teams, equally divided men and women, they're down now to 12 men teams, like Arizona State, University of Florida, women teams, Cal State, University of Florida. Flip, baby. Yeah. For the Intercollegiate Championship. So, college... Bowling is big, and Curtis is another of the products. Curtis, Curtis bowled at Winston-Salem College, and uh, he is an excellent, excellent player. But he got most of his experience in the regional program. Well, let's take a look at how Curtis is playing the championship pair, where he's standing, and what kind of shot he's trying to play. I think he's waiting for a re-rack, Chris. So mm -hmm. Either that or he's going to get caught by the 25-second clock. John Campos, our tournament director, watching and listening. Okay. Next Saturday at 3, two Central ABC's Pro Bowlers Tour rolls into Indianapolis. Top bowlers take aim as they try to capture the second jewel, Bowling's Triple Crown, the $225,000 
Bowling proprietors, U.S. Open. Check Curtis Odom's position. He's right here. He's going to slide here. He's going to target right about over the third arrow. Just keeps it all together and should get a strike here to take the lead. Hi. Thank you very much. I agree. A really bad break. The 4-9 split. He can make this by sliding the 4-pin in, into the 9. He has to slide it on over. What he has to do is slide the four into the nine. Trails by eight. If he happened to miss this, he'd be behind by 20. Appreciation of the standing room only crowd here at Landmark Recreation Center, a great facility in Peoria, Illinois. Health club, you name it, it's here. <laughs> Third 10 pin for Adele, who giggles. Well, unexpectedly, he has a 20 pin lead or 19 pin lead, despite just going at a 206 pace, because all week long, the saying around here was if you didn't bowl 230, you lost ground on the field. And that's a pretty true axiom. Right now, Ballard with a conversion would lead by 19 through six frames. Bill Ballard, who has six titles. A Firestone, a U.S. Open, and an ABC Masters, but he has never won from fourth or fifth position. He is fourth seeded. Del Ballard playing a little deeper inside line. You'll see Ballard over on the left side of the approach. He's going to try to get a strike ball right about the third arrow. He's going to start the extreme left, draw a line between those. It's the anatomy of a strike. Beautiful shot by the champion, yes. Del Ballard Jr. In the lead by 19. We'll be back. Fact. The full-size Ford has been the best-selling pickup in America for the past 14 years. Fact. Ford has the best full-size pickup value in America today. With AM FM stereo, special wheels, and low mount mirrors, this Ford is hundreds less than a comparably equipped Chevy or Dodge. Call it leadership. Call it winning. With values like this, it's no wonder more people are driving the best-built, best-selling American trucks than ever before. The results are in. Thompson's House and Deck Stain waterproofs better than even the leading brand's premium stain. Because only Thompson's stain contains Thompson's water seal. It waterproofs and beautifies in one easy step. Thompson Stain. Seal water out, seal color in. I'm visiting my in-laws. I smoke. They don't. No bother. I've got Wrigley Spearmint Gum. That cool, clean taste is most inviting. When I can't smoke, I enjoy pure chewing satisfaction. Top male gymnasts go head-to-head -head for the World Cup gold. Plus the Santa Anita Derby presented by John Deere. All next on ABC's Wide World of Sports. A frame. What are you Curtis doing on this left lane? Constantly figuring out, trying to figure out what happened. Make a shot. Please. Running behind of our normal time schedule, so while we were away, after an open frame in the sixth and the seventh, he left the two, four, five, then marked with a spare. Now here in the eighth frame. Covers the six pin and trails by 20. Here's Bo. Thank you, Chris. Kelly Kaufman, uh, what did you learn by your previous experience in the championship round this year, and what are you going to try to change today? I'm just going to try to relax. Uh, I've, I've said that last time, but uh, I'm learning that uh, one of these days I will win, and I'm just going to go out and have fun again. I mean, that's what I'm going to try to do is just have fun. Win or lose, hey, I had fun. Great attitude. He's coming up in the next match, Chris. Well, the game is called 10 pins <laughs> for Del Ballard today. He's plagued by that single pin itself. We're in Peoria on the shores of the Illinois River. A spring-like day. It's incredibly warm and sunshiny. All right. Okay, right, Del Ballard through the eighth frame, leading by 20, marking with a spare, and moving over to the left lane, which has been troublesome for him, but more so for his opponent, Curtis Odom. 
We never have a safe lead when the lanes are really this easy to score upon. Right now, Ballard going at a 206 pace. Curtis Odom with four strikes to finish the game would finish at 206, so it's still up for grabs. I have to roll up. There it is. Is that weak or what? Well, that's his fifth 10 pin in nine frames. That means he's around the pocket, and all he has to do is get that ball to flip over a little bit more, and those 10 pins turns into strikes. And if all those 10 pins had been strikes, he'd be going at a 278 pace instead of a 205. I can spare it. My game this week was a 289. We averaged 214 in two games on this, the championship pair. There he is, proud owner of a 1967 Shelby Mustang. He loves the muscle cars. One shot. We'll see one of those next week, won't we, Chris, uh, when we go to the Indianapolis? Mm -hmm. the, uh, we'll see Carl Shelby himself, as they say. Very good. Right now, this man needs a strike. Curtis's uh, third strike in nine frames. See a good style of Curtis Odom, inside out swing, good lift up through the ball. He finishes this shot very well, roots it out, trips the four pin out with a two. Look at how steady those determined eyes, and he knows he needs this one to stay in the match. Now it's imperative that he strike in the tenth frame. He can take the lead with a strike here in the tenth. The second one is 10th, we'll finish it off with 2.06. This is the big shot. Yeah, and delivers. First television appearance Let's ever for Curtis Odom. He was the top seed at the showboat in Atlantic City, losing to Mike Alvey. He leans for that little extra here. He throws that ball. He knew when he left his hand that it was going to be in the pocket. By far his best shot in the match, and he needed it right now. Now he's put himself in a position to win. He has forced Ballard to mark. With one more strike, he can take the lead. We still have the possibility of a tie. One more shot, just like last night. Chris, you can learn all you want about the sport of bowling, but until you can become tough on the professional bowlers to or lean back for that extra in the clutch, as Curtis just did, you will never be successful. Right now, he can take a one-pin lead with a strike. If he gets nine or eight, we have a great possibility of a tie. Hmm. One more shot. Oh, true. Wasn't smooth at the line, but that was just... huge. Just let it got a little too anxious. That's similar to the type God, of shot that, 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 that the Dell Ballard threw in the gutter. That, Curtis. Well, he knows he's opened the door for Dell Ballard. Ballard right now needs to fill 18 pins in the tenth. That's it. Yes. Dell Ballard, Curtis Odom here as. The loser in the first match, he'll go to Indianapolis for next week's event, the U.S. Open. $7,000. Okay. Here we go again. <laughs> well, he'll go for the pocket this oh, time because sure. he needs eight pins on two balls and not one. If it was on one ball, he'd have to think about keeping it down the middle. It's a winner, Chris. Yes. Del Bellard now. Moving up our stepladder format to go against a non-winner named Kelly Kaufman of Topeka. Here's a word from our ABC station.
Ultra Satin, the art of fine paint, now on sale exclusively at True Value Hardware Stores and Home Centers. In my considered opinion, it's okay to enjoy mowing one's lawn. Oh, for heaven's sake. In fact, my snapper significantly enhances my sense of well-being. Of course, my snapper dealer was kind enough to offer a 14-day money-back test drive. The good man really stands behind his machines. So if you're looking for emotional satisfaction, my advice to you is seek professional help. That's right. See your snapper dealer. Anything less just won't cut it. Saturday. Schwarzenegger takes on the mob. It's nice to be one of the family. Arnold Schwarzenegger, Raw Deal, Saturday. Where will my life? Strike it rich in Rochester, New York at the Lilac City Tournament. Call 1-800-36-LILAC to enter. Goal for over $950,000 in cash prizes. There's 14 great events. Enter the men's, women's, and mixed events. Win with the Lilac. They're singles, doubles, and team events. So enter now. Everybody wins with a great time at the Lilac. It's the world's fastest growing bowling tournament. And we plan to pay over $950,000. Win with the Lilac. Harrisburg Copiers wants to help your business be more productive with Meta High Performance Copiers. The advanced copying system for today's business needs. The pressures of business. Today's copiers must be faster, easier to use, more reliable, versatility and productivity. Meta Copiers, performance and beyond. Harrisburg Copiers stands behind every Meta Copier with service and reliability. See the selection of quality Meta Copiers at Harrisburg Copiers. Simply the best with 25 years experience. WHTM TV 27, Harrisburg. The Pro Bowlers Tour. Brought to you by Ford and your Ford dealer. Have you driven a Ford lately? By True Value. Got a tough job to do? You can do it with True Value Hardware Stores. And by Bud Light. Everything else is just the light. True Value it is. We've been with True Value since 1980. Landmark. We've been coming here since 1982 as Ballard. Shot a 205 to a 202 by the looter, loser, Curtis Odom. Only four strikes. Now it's Ballard against uh, Kelly Kaufman of Topeka, Kansas. Kaufman with the, as we say out here, the most revolutions on a bowling ball of any touring player. He says he gets over 20. Ooh. Look at that thing go. I got P-51 propeller. <laughs> <laughs> Unfortunately, it was headed the wrong direction yeah. on that one. Watch the revolutions on this bowling ball. It's a good break, breaks up the 4-6 split, has a simple 6-pin. All right, Kelly Kaufman from Topeka, 25 years old, 6'2", 240 pounds. And if you just joined us, Kelly's opponent is Del Ballard, who defeated Curtis Odom 205 to 202 in the first game. Wrinkle. Lofting it out on the right lane. A little self cheerleading there by Beck Yes. One of the really great players on the tour today, Del Ballard Jr. And Chris, he has just a terrific record after he has won one game in a championship round. He wins more than 80% of his matches, so he's loose out there now, and he is definitely the man to beat. 80% at this level is fabulous. Going to roll it this time? Boy, none of the players can seem to figure out that, that left-hand lane. He thought that would come back just like the right-hand lane. You, we heard Curtis Odom speaking with himself. What he has to do is get the bowling ball over in this area here and drive out the four and seven. A very difficult spare, especially on a slick center of the lane. Oh. Yep. All the way. Well, he knew it. He hit that heavy oil in the center of the lane, and the ball slid back and caused the two to chop the four straight off the seven. He has opened the door for Kelly Kaufman in the early going. Kelly with the spare up now shooting in the second frame. Ballard with 28 through the second. And it's a four pin. 
You know what it looks like to me, Chris, is that all, I watched him all day Thursday and all day Friday, and the players, as you see the style of Kelly Kaufman, a five-step power delivery with tremendous wrist cup, tremendous revolution on the bowling ball. It's almost like the palm shot of Mike Miller, who won the tournament mm -hmm. last week. And I'll finish about the lanes uh, right after the shot. Chris, the oil is too far down the lane, I think, right now for these players. When they go around or send the ball wide, it comes back a little bit late. When they try to make it set or hold up, it goes high. So right now, they're a little bit confused out there. And once again, match play competition takes over. So that type of shot or that type of ball, rolling ball, isn't the thing of the future? Well, <laughs> I don't know. Power is under control is obviously the best way to do it. But you have to hit where you're looking. Bo, thanks for that tip. We talk in your Nelson Burton tip of the week a little bit about that, too, don't we? Talk about power and how to get the power ball like Kelly Kaufman, but other fundamentals can have to be observed. And right now, Kelly is a little bit unexperienced or inexperienced young man, and he's just throwing balls at the back end, hoping to get strikes. He needs to settle down. Second chop. His downfall at Sunrise when he struggled in the championship round there was open frames, and I'm sure it's plaguing him right now as he's opened the door for Ballard. Ballard leads by two, third frame. Hit it. Hit it. Yes. And that's what Del Ballard does, jumping on somebody that makes a mistake. You know, tomorrow in ABC Sports, the World League of American Football returns with a North American West Division matchup. That's right. The Sacramento Surge heads back to the States into Texas to battle the Riders of San Antonio. Coverage begins tomorrow at 1 Eastern, 12 Central and Pacific, right here, ABC Sports. Interesting to see what Sacramento does after uh, the trouble they've had with their basketball team. Let's have a, hopefully they have a winning football team. Ooh. Oh, and Del Ballard doubles there now and takes a 12 pin lead in the second game. He won the first, 205 to 202 by Curtis Odom. Dear Thompson, Honey, I ran out of midway the through waterproofing our new deck, I ran out of Thompson's water seal and finished with another brand. So Two days later, it rained. It was amazing. Wow. You could actually see side. the Thompson side working. The other side looked like I hadn't used a yeah, thing. Terrible. Thompson's water seal has 50% more active ingredients than most brands for more waterproofing power. You can see the difference. For my money, nothing tops Thompson's. And I proved it. Sincerely, Marsha Jackalone, Bassett, Wisconsin. They all left at Christopher Columbus, winners of the world was round. They said a car that paid so much attention to handling its passengers would have nothing left for handling the road. They haven't driven the new Ford Crown Victoria. Ho, 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 who's got the left left now? More room, more agile. More than ever, it's the new Crown Victoria. That's nice. Have you driven a Ford lately? For most people, Indianapolis means racing. But for us, it's the second jewel in our Triple Crown, the BPAA U.S. Open, next Saturday on ABC Sports. We're looking at Val Ballard while we're away. His opponent, Kelly Kaufman, after an open frame in the fourth left, a 2-5 marked with a spare. Then in the fifth frame, a strike. Val Ballard, a double working, shooting in the fifth frame, leading by 12. by 22 as we go to Bo Burton. Thank you, Chris. Curtis Odom, the scores we're seeing out there are quite unexpected. What's wrong with the lanes? Well, they're a little different from yesterday. They're very similar, but a little different. There's not as much hole left, and they're just a little tighter right, so uh, better shots going to have to be made and kind of playing safe. How about you, George? Uh, you got a great winning percentage in championship round. You going to take any advice from Curtis? Well, I think I'm going to stick to a deep inside line. I'm going to Seems like the track is not hooking as much as it's been earlier in the week. So I think I'm going to just stay in and, and uh, play a little fallback. All right, Chris. Uh, he's got a game plan. He's mighty tough. We'll see what happens. Yes, and would you believe another 10 pen for the Texan? Del Ballard. Del Ballard on May 17th will become a bridegroom. His bride to be, Kelly McGregor, also a Texas. <laughs> Thank you. 
Dell by 21. However, Kelly Kaufman with a strike up, he'll be shooting in the sixth grade, uh, can cut the lead. to 11 pens. We asked Kelly to tell us how his family members have helped his bowling career. Well, growing up, uh, my dad has uh, helped me out in growing in the bowling and uh, financially my brother has backed me and uh, my other brother has uh, backed me spiritually. I mean, he's helped me out, been there. And uh, we've, just, we've just been around bowling all of our lives. Family affair leaving the 610. Boy, he's just really struggling out there. You got a feel for him, especially when a player is used to throwing strikes all week long. He averaged 235 on this championship pair and he expects that ball to hold or slide back towards the pocket from that deep inside line. It's not happening right now. He's confused. Now he chopped the six off the 10 last time in this lane. Let's see what happens this time. Kelly with a fourth place finish this year, the Florida Open in Winter Haven. We'll be back with more of the second match. When you're looking good, you want Bud Light. The clean, fresh taste won't fill you up and never let you down. top of your work. You can do it with the Rubbermaid Roughneck Step Stool from True Value Hardware Stores. It's strong enough to support 300 pounds and light enough to take anywhere. Plus, the Roughneck Step Stool is over 9 inches tall, backed by a 5-year warranty from Rubbermaid and just $4.99 in April, while supplies last at participating True Value Hardware Stores and Home Center. Top male Jim Misco head-to-head for the World Cup Gold. Plus the Santa Anita Derby presented by John Deere. All next on ABC's Wide World of Sports. On the left, the smiling Johnny Campos. And why not? His bride, Janine, is to his left. Johnny is our tournament director. So a lot of responsibility rests on those big, broad Texan shoulders. Here's another Texan, Del Ballard. We wish him happiness down the road together. Ballard, 13 pin lead, seventh frame. the shot of Ballard. Now watch this release. Now this is really what a lot of people ask about. How do you get the power in the ball? See that hand come directly underneath the ball in a natural counterclockwise rotation and it really makes the 10 pins talk. Hit them thin, watch them spin. Right now Ballard 13 pin lead can make it 23. Mm -hmm. Professional tour, even league, there are a lot of decisions to make, whether to stick with a ball at certain type or go to another. Boy, you're right, Chris, and that's uh, a lot of professional experience necessary to do that. And what he has done, Del Ballard has changed his line a little bit, moved farther inside, throwing it slower, and going for the, the deep inside line. For Kelly Kaufman of Topeka. 10 pen on the right lane. Kelly Kaufman, who won his first match in championship play on national television when Marshall Holman, his opponent, threw back-to-back -back gutter balls. And he beat Holman 208 to 186. He hasn't been so lucky since then. He just joined us. Dal Ballard defeated uh, Curtis Odom in our first match, 205 to 202, with four strikes. Now he's going against Kelly Kaufman, this man, and the next man up will be... George Branham the third, followed by a tournament leader, and let him on a celli. Take a look at how Kaufman with the power ball is playing the lanes. He'll be the deep inside line. His target will be around the fourth arrow. He'll be sliding over by the left channel. And look, he's almost standing over in the other lane. Now you can stand anywhere you want. He's just got to get the ball in that line. Striking in the foundation. 
Foundation train. He expected to do a lot better today. Well, the match is still up for grabs, yeah. although Ballard leads by 24. Unless he strikes here in the ninth, Kaufman will have a chance. But the champ, like a good left hook followed by a right. <laughs> <laughs> he did it. That steady head, one of the essence of being a great bowler. And this young man has it, the powerful ball, and he's learned how to win. Right now, he can shut out Del Bell, uh, Kelly Kaufman with a strike or a spear in the tenth. Lay there. Boy, it's not over now. He has a decision to make. Right now, if he just gets nine out, he'll finish with 212. Kaufman would need three strikes to win. Ballard looking at the scoreboard as you see his ball going down. They're leaving the 6, 7, 10. Chris, at this position, I would go for the two pins mm -hmm. and force force Kelly Kaufman to throw strikes. He needs to slide the 6 pin over into the 7, but I think he'll just go for the 6, 10. Smart move. He won the first match, 205 to 202 against Curtis Odom. Kelly Kaufman now, another non-winner, looks up carefully. He knows the situation. And it's simply this. He must strike on all three balls. Two strikes and nine. We have a tie. Now he needs two more. That's as confident as I've seen him look this whole match. You know what? Curtis owed him the same way, Chris. He struggled for seven, eight, nine frames. All of a sudden, his opponent gave him a chance, Del Ballard, and Odom rose to the occasion, although Ballard shut him out. Same thing for Kelly Kaufman. Has struggled the whole match. He can still win, but he must strike on this ball. Unbelievable. Reaching somewhere, though, to come up with that three-bagger. Chris, I've been around the best bowlers all my life, and there's one thing that you must have to be a top professional and stay out there, and that's a lot of heart, a lot of guts. Kaufman showing that right here. With a strike, he wins. With nine, he ties. We have a sudden death two-frame roll. Here's the shot. Could be the making of a future winner with that four bagger at the end. It's 213 to 212. Del Ballard has been eliminated. It's a true value open. Branham is next. ABC Sports Bowling Tip of the Week is brought to you by Ford and your Ford dealer. Have you driven a Ford lately? In the sport of bowling, everybody wants a powerful strike ball. It's the catalyst for high scores, an absolute must for top professional bowling. The man with me today is a man who's been very successful with the powerful strike ball, Triple Crown winner, Pete Weber. Pete, it's uh, always looked like you've really working hard to throw that powerful ball. Well, Bo, a lot of people get the misconception that I'm really turning my hand over and working hard at getting that ball to turn like it does. But really, it's very effortless. You have the high backswing, Peter, and you just come inside out, and really it did look effortless on that shot. But obviously, if it's so effortless, you really get that much power. What is the essence that makes the ball rotate like that? Well, even through my approach, I have the high backswing. And when I go into my pivot step, and I come starting through the downswing, right there, my thumb starts coming out of the ball, my fingers do all the lifting on the ball, and that's what gives me the effortless turn. Good body position. Take a tip from Pete Weber. Keep your hand behind the ball when the thumb comes out. Let the hand rotate counterclockwise around the ball naturally and let the fingers do the work. Fact. The all-new Ford Escort is the best-selling small car in America. Fact. The new Escort has the highest owner satisfaction of any car in our history. Fact. Escort has more repeat buyers than any car in its class. Call it leadership. Call it winning. Call it anything you want. The simple fact is, Ford is number one. Have you driven a Ford lately?
morning belongs to Skin Bracer Aftershave. Its cool, brisk tingle really gets you going. And what a great scent. Skin Bracer. No better way to face the day by day. I'm a smoker, but in my office, it doesn't work. No problem. I chew Wrigley's Spearmint Gum. That cool, clean taste fits any agenda. When I can't smoke, I enjoy pure chewing satisfaction. In America, your car is not just something you own. It's a part of your life. To give your car complete protection, Haviland is introducing new Haviland Formula 3 motor oil with not one but three kinds of protection against heat stress, starting friction, and engine dirt. New Haviland Formula 3. Add more life to your car. I'm looking at this and I'm thinking, oops, there must be some mistake. Okay, so there's lots of flakes here. But didn't you like to get the cinnamon or the nuts or the raisins or something? Mmm. If it's a mistake, it's a good one. I like it. It's simple, crispy. Guess my mouth is a lot smarter than my eyes. Can I have some more? Kellogg's Corn Flakes. Kellogg's Corn Flakes? Now can I have some more? Taste them again for the first time. Strike out to score more. I just can't seem to find the pocket. Call 1-800-4-ABC-VCR and let Bo Burton's instructional home videos score more. Help you solve your bowling problems. Here's what the pros do. Learn Bo's valuable tips on performance, practice techniques, body conditioning, and equipment selection and score more. Only $24.98 plus $3 shipping. To order Bo's home video, call 1-800-4-ABC-VCR. Yes, we've returned to Peoria, oldest settlement in the state of Illinois. First match, through value open, Dell Ballard winning by three, 205 to 202. Then in comes Kelly Kaufman, and with a stirring finish, wins by a pin, 213 to 212. So it'll be Kaufman now going against George Branham III in the true value open finals at Landmark, Peoria. Our next two stops, Indianapolis for the United States Open. And then uh, two weeks from today, we go to Windsor Locks, Connecticut for the Tums Classic. And I think Del Ballard could use one of those Tums right now. You see the size of the field, 160 players. Look at the average, is 230. Let's look at some of the other players. Westlake, Mark Miller. Mike Miller won the national championship last week. Jazz now coming out of a slump. Edwards had back-to-back -back 300 games this week. Rod Pasteur, the playboy in there. There's another college player, Romek, in 11th place. Watch him. Rakoskis, good player. Brian Voss tuning up for the big ones. Dave Ferraro, Firestone champion. Houston having a good year. Pete Weber, 13 weeks in a row he's catch. The legend, 17th place, Harry Sullins. John Forrest coming back on the tour doing well. Dale Traver, brother of Dave Traver, made the top five recently. Mike Albee, former bowler of the year. Dickinson, the steady veteran, 21st. Ron Williams made a rush at him yesterday. Kent Wagner, $1,850, rounding out the top 24. Newman, $1,800, Chris, and we got a great semifinal match coming up. Right. Mike Edwards finishing 27th, Marshall Holman 34th, Chris Warren tied for 40th. Some of the names after the top 24, but finishing um, in the number two position now in this semifinal match, you're looking at 28-year-old power player George Branham III of Indianapolis. Ranking it into the pocket. Branham, who is used to winning, hasn't want, been in the winner's circle for almost three years, kind of fighting a slump, but when he has an opportunity, he's tough. But Kelly Kaufman is buoyed by uh, a tremendous finish, surprisingly catching Del Ballard. Semi-final game. Crossing over and leaving the 5-9. What a superb finish in the 10th, Chris, mm. and then all of a sudden he gets a chance to settle down, relax, and here's an, oh, just a completely wild shot. He crosses over to the wrong side, leaves the 5-9 spare, and once again, this is a choppable spare for a right-hander. Kelly needs to throw it hard down the center. So that sometimes nervous first frame is out of the way. Both marking, Brandon with the strike, Kelly Kaufman, a spare. 
Kelly Kaufman attended the University of Kansas, studied commercial art, mm -hmm. and does playground portraits for children all over for friends and in commercial centers. And he's picked up airbrush art and doing landscapes as a hobby. Quite a talented young man. I would just buy it like on its way to St. Louis or something. Speaking of St. Louis, Jim Hart, quarterback for the Cardinals, who will soon be in the NFL Hall of Fame, I hope. On him. And does he look like Kelly Kaufman as you see the ball yeah. sliding by the head pin, or does Kelly Kaufman look like Jim Hart? That's an incompletion. <laughs> well, you pick it. He, he is such a nice, likable young man, but spares. He even came to me and he says, Bo, I only missed a couple of spares the first couple of days, but here he's missed two spares in two games in the championship round. And that's a Jim Hart look right there, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Now Brenham with a strike up, second frame. Wanted the ball, but left the 10 pin, the right lane. Last title for George was the 1987 AC Delco, Union City, California. Good combination of power and accuracy. Steady push away. Look at the wrist position. Absolutely perfect. Strong pivot step, long slide. Chris, this man can really, really, once he starts believing in himself, be one of the real top players on the tour. Well, maybe we have to start over with bowling tips, Chris, on how to make single pin spares because uh, that's inexcusable. Both these players, top players, and I realize they're a little bit uh, nervous in the championship round, but they both miss easy spares. In other words, uh, we should practice single pin spares. I think you're right. In fact, a good vehicle is to shoot the single pin out of a full rack and then shoot the remaining pins up. Good, good. practice method. Left the uh, 4-7. Born in Detroit, lived in California, now bowling out of Indianapolis. Last year at the U.S. Open in Indianapolis, he finished seventh. Ron Palumbi, our defending U.S. Open champion, which the tournament will open tomorrow. It's a seven-day tournament, so uh, the players have a long week ahead of them. The George, of course, will be one of them, hoping to win in now hometown of Indy. Kelly Kaufman started bowling at age four. He said his first average was 17. <laughs> <laughs> oh, after an open, Kelly leaves the three pin. Seems awfully loose. Um, well, Chris, you're, you're right. You know what? It's actually the ball is loose. You look at his hand. It's it's got to be close to 80 degrees in Peoria today. As you see, the ball just errantly going by the almost the left side of the head pin, leaving a three pin. Plus perspiration, the whole deal with the pressure makes it very difficult to hold on that ball. And you know, that's something you have to learn to play well in the championship round. And uh, I think that's why they make rosin. So Kelly, he should be reaching for that rosin bag right now. See him trying to figure something out here. He figured it out against Del Ballard. Closing with four in a row and winning by one pin over Dell, 213 to 212. We're in the semifinal game of the True Value Open. And Dell Ballard faced that. Well, that was the split that Dell Ballard left to allow Kelly Kaufman into the finals. What, what he has to do is get the ball over in this area, slide that six pin over into the seven. So now it's a second open for Kelly Kaufman. Goes against George Branham the third. Semifinal will continue after this. To help relieve her heartburn, regular Rolaids uses an aluminum salt, but his antacid is Tums. And Tums has calcium. Something my body needs anyway. I like that. Tums. Okay, for the state, why love diet A and W root beer and cream soda with 100% interest and action. <laughs> no, my right. No, into the glass. Into the glass. <laughs> 
What do you need, glasses or are you just stupid? I've been told both. It's the taste that made A&W famous. Is your car shaking, rattling, or rolling? Whether it's alignment, shocks, or struts, Might issues is top technology to diagnose the problem and top technicians to fix it. For suspension or alignment, nobody beats Midas. Nobody. When it's heartburn. Plus gas. Get new Tom's Plus. Calcium rich antacid relief plus gas busting cymethicone. No other antacid gives you that. Tom, 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 new Tom's Tom. Plus. The World League excitement continues. Sacramento surges into San Antonio, hoping to make it rough for the Riders. Live tomorrow on ABC Sports. You're looking at Diane Cotter's two key executives on the left, Jerry Thompson, True Value Merchandise Manager, and Gary Coppinger, National Advertising Manager. And here is G. Raymond Becker, proprietor of Landmark, and I call him Mr. Peoria. He is the man that has helped spark this city. Okay, Bo. Thank you, Chris. Del Ballard, you had to be surprised at Kelly Kaufman coming back to win. I was very surprised. Uh, it's my own fault. I wasn't aggressive in the 10th frame, and I, I cut it off. But I went for 9 in the 10th. I didn't go for the spare because he'd only hit the pocket a couple of shots, you know, during the game. And so uh, he threw him good, and I'm, you're right. I'm going for the Tums. <laughs> <laughs> very nice. The championship match, Amleto, you surprised the scores? Are you going to change tactics? Uh, I'm going to try to play the same way I did this week, just a little slower to, you know, to keep in place and make good shots and uh, uh, see what happens, you know. All the players have to make a little bit of a change, Chris, and we'll see uh, what Amleto can do in the finals. We still have a semifinal to be decided. Back to you. That we do, and George Branham, who uh, had a 15-pen lead with a strike up going into the fifth frame, has left the 2-4-5. Nicely done. And a lot of punctuation. Didn't baby that shot, did he? Okay, now Kelly Kaufman at 240 pounds is up and has had two open frames, but he came back in his victory over Dell Ballard. Here he is in the fifth. Okay, next on ABC's Wide World of Sports, top male gymnasts competing for the all-around gold in the World Cup Gymnastics Championships. And you know what else? Live from California, the road to the Kentucky Derby continues with the Santa Anita Derby, and then... This to be presented by John Deere Lawn Care Dealers and then coverage of the Grand National Steeplechase from Aintree and Aintree. Wide World. Oh, he nearly doubled, leaving the seven. Struggling a little bit with the approach, and uh, you know what it could be, Chris? This happened to me one other time. Is perspiration has, may have fallen off somebody's forehead onto the approach. It happened to me in the Masters in 1980, and that's exactly, I'll bet, what happened. Now, it's his... It's his job mm -hmm. to clear that approach. Oh, sticking again and nearly blowing that shot. Well, here's what they can do. They can turn it tournament director Johnny Campos and ask that the, the approach be cleaned off or at least rubbed off with some uh, steel wool or something, Chris. But it's a player's responsibility, especially when you can't see any marks on the approach. Okay. All right, a strike in the six for... The leader, George Branham. We asked George what influence his family has had on his bowling career. Well, my dad started me off in bowling when I was about six years old, and he basically taught me the fundamentals. And around 15, I won Southern California Junior Bowl of the Year. And I stayed in the juniors until I was 21, and I decided to become a professional bowler. Right now, he has a 15-pin lead, can make it 25. Two titles for George, A.C. Dalco, and the Brunswick Memorial World Open in 1986. We'll be back. What do I do for a living? It's pretty simple. I'm a painter. And a locksmith. I'm a gardener. A plumber. And your interior decorator. I'm a carpenter. An electrician and a troubleshooter. What do I do for a living? I own a True Value hardware store. You can do it with True Value hardware stores. In my considered opinion, it's okay to enjoy mowing one's lawn. Oh, for heaven's sake. 
In fact, my snapper significantly enhances my sense of well-being. Of course, my snapper dealer was kind enough to offer a 14-day money-back test drive. The good man really stands behind his machines. So if you're looking for emotional satisfaction, my advice to you is seek professional help. That's right. See your snapper dealer. Anything less just won't cut it. For most people, Indianapolis means racing. But for us, it's the second jewel in our Triple Crown. The BPAA U.S. Open, next Saturday on ABC Sports. Good action while we were away, running behind our time schedule. A double by Kelly Coffin, the comeback kid. Now here in the eighth frame, with a double up, George Branham to cover four pin. Post match, bro. Here we go again. You're right, Chris. And we'll go back to the problem with both players are having on the left lane, lane 37, on the approach. Now, if indeed it's perspiration, they can go up and wipe it off, straighten out the approach. They cannot put anything down or apply it to the approach. So, what you have to do is watch where they're standing and see if they make any adjustment. George is sliding right in this area, and that's where he's having trouble. Now, here's his strike line, and this up here, then a big swing out. But watch his footwork on the approach. I tell you, luck has a lot to do in every sport. <laughs> well, you're right. The five pin went flying in front of the seven. Watch the head pin will come back across and actually interfere with it. Here goes the head pin to the sideboard. Come back and it bushwhacks the seven, five pin before it can get to the seven. But Branham has the lead. Right now it's just 13 pins, ninth frame. And here in bowling, that luck factor is so graphically uh, displayed by our... our Technicians are great cameramen. And of course, Carl Caroletti, our producer and uh, Larry Cameron, director, calling the shots. Kelly Kaufman, big hit. He can cut the lead to three pins. Ninth frame. Look at that. I bet he studied for exams at the last minute. You You're know? right. He needs a late wake up call. And he's giving George Branham the message right now. Oh, Kaufman is using two different bowling balls. He's using one ball in the right lane, one ball in the left lane, using the full approach. He can now take the lead for the first time in the match, 10th frame. Remember he won over Dal Ballard, 213 to 212, closing with four. <laughs> Here he is again. Boy, oh boy, oh boy, George Branham's saying the same thing Ballard said. I had this guy on the ropes, he was struggling, and all of a sudden he can throw a strike and shut me out. Right now, Kelly Kaufman on the verge of bowling for the title if he can strike right here. Leaves a single pin spare. He'll finish with 202. And right now, George Branham must throw two strikes and seven to win the match. He's studying the scoreboard. Grand prize here in the True Value Open uh, is $39,000. Branham has been fairly successful on the right hand lane. He's had a 10 pin in the second frame, strike in a 4-6 and a 4 pin, but he needs two strikes right now to go to the final match. Living disastrous 5-7 bow. Well, he was forced to play the deep inside line, Chris, and he just didn't get the pin action. Kelly Kaufman is going into the final against Amleto Monicelli for $39,000 found the new comeback player on the tour, Kelly Kaufman, who shot a 202, and he has recorded his second victory. Now goes against another great champion in the final, and let him own a jelly. Pro Bowlers Tour will return after this message and a word from our ABC station. They all left at Christopher Columbus when it's of the world was round. They said a more powerful new V8 engine would only speed your trip to the gas station. They haven't driven the new Ford Crown Victoria. Ho, 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 
Who's got the left left now? More powerful, more fuel efficient. More than ever, it's the new Crown Victoria. That's nice. Have you driven a Ford lately? Shine the lights on you. Shine the lights on me. Keep your butt light shining for everyone to see. Shine the lights on this. Shine the lights on that. Oh, shining all the others is with Bud Light. That. When you're looking good, you want Bud Light. The clean, fresh taste won't fill you up and never let you down. You can taste it, you can feel it. You know you got it right. Everything else is just the light to keep your butt. Things still need change. For more than two years, we've shown you what works. The American Agenda on ABC's World News Tonight with Peter Jennings. The preacher's son and the girl down the lane. You never think you're going to lose your daughter on her way to school. A horrifying murder that terrified a neighborhood. And a killer in the grass. What killed him was that his skin died. A suburban dream becomes a nightmare. Pesticides are keeping them prisoners in their own homes. And when Robert De Niro talks, America listens. A Current Affair Extra, Sunday night, 11.30 on 27 WHTM. Bowling in the USA. Bowling in the USA. covers the Mid-State only on 27 News. From TV One in New York, here's Frank Gifford. We'll be back for today's final match in a moment. And a quick reminder, coming up on ABC's Wide World of Sports, from Brussels, the World Gymnastics Championships featuring the men's all-around competition. We'll also have live coverage of the Santa Anita Derby presented by John Deere Lawn Care Dealers and same-day coverage of the prestigious Grand National Steeplechase. Well, earlier today, at the Indianapolis Motor Speedway, A.J. Foyt, for the second straight day, continued his comeback from a severe leg injury, which he suffered as a result of a racing crash last September. Foyt is expected to compete in a record 34th consecutive Indianapolis 500 in May, and today he commented on how it feels to be back in a race car. I was kind of anxious to get out there just to see how I was going to come back, and uh, it felt pretty good. You know, I still got a long ways to go, and uh, we got a long time, but I wanted to hurry up and get this first part out of the way, and since it's over with, uh, I think we'll be all right by the end of May. AJ will attempt to qualify for the Valvoline 200 in Phoenix, and you'll see that here on ABC Sports on April the 21st. Okay, let's go back to Chris Shankel. Chris? Thank you very much, Frank, and that's where we'll be next week in Indy. We're in Peoria, where Del Ballard defeated Curtis Odom in the first match, 205 to 202. Then in stepped Kelly Kaufman, and with a flourish at the end, won by a pen, 213 to 212, eliminating Dell. Kaufman then, another strong finish, defeated George the III, 202 to 183, and now goes against a multi-champion PBA Player of the Year twice, Leto Monticelli. In the finals for 39,000, the winner. The winner last year is right here, from Austin, Texas, Robert Lawrence. He had a tough week. Yeah, not quite like last year. Robert, what do you expect out here in the championship match? Now, last year it was a 234-233 victory over Steve Cook. Nothing like that out there right now. Well, the scores definitely aren't like that, but the uh, finishes are definitely exciting of every match. And we got Kelly Kaufman, who's playing the both players, the deep inside line, a lot of power. Trying to swing out that 10-pin. Here we go, championship match. Not quite. Leaving the 2-5. And this is the way Kelly's got a pattern, I think. He's sort of loosey-goosey <laughs> early in the match with, his, with himself. His body, the way he moves around. And then at the end, he really concentrates. You're right. Likeable guy. Ooh. And he's done that before, too. Robert, what advice could you really give Kelly? I know he's bowling for a title, but he has really struggled with spares in a championship match. Well, I notice in Kelly's game, a lot of times he'll shoot spares straight and hard at him, and a lot of times he'll hook at him, and uh, I think he needs to go one way or the other. Good point right there. To get a definite game plan. Now, here's the player of the year trying to win his second championship of the year. And Leto 
Tyler Chalibuck, he's the mate of Venezuela. Mm. The style of Amleto Monticelli, that open hand, very similar to Mark Roth when he was going so well, then the tremendous wrist action and wrist, and he's using a very soft ball speed. Look at how wide he's swinging it in all that oil. He has it found a way to overcome that heavy oil condition, and do you think he's made the right move, uh, Robert? I think going with a softer surface ball is going to get him there because the shiny balls are just skidding out. Good point. Second frame. He's been a factor all year after winning Player of the Year titles consecutively. Fourth TV this year, first at Quaker State, fourth at Bud Light, fifth at the Leisure Long Island Open. Going against this exciting non-winner, Kelly Kaufman. Hmm. Big trouble here, the 4-6 split. And he's going against Oma, o Monicelli, who has started with a double. The only thing he can do here is just throw at one of these two pins and hopefully bounce something out of the pit. pace on the ball, Bill. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's about 22, 23 mm -hmm. miles an hour. And you know, an effective strike ball, Chris, has to be rolled between 16 and 19. Right now, Kaufman, up near that 19 miles an hour, hasn't been very effective. Monicelli, down around 16. Now, if you go less than 16, the ball wanders. If you throw harder than Kelly Kaufman's throwing, the ball doesn't take the natural break of the lane. And here we have a 2-4-5 in the left lane for... Kelly. Kelly with two victories coming into the final. Two, four, five. All he has to do is get the ball in this area and just drive the two, five out, taking the four. Remember, this is his combination he chopped in the first frame. Now 29-year-old Amleto Monicelli at 5'8", 950 pounds. Double up shooting in the third frame of this championship game of the True Value Open. Well, there goes our last chance to give a check for $200,000. Monicelli with a really bad break here, an unusual 4-5-8 split. All he has to do is get the ball right between the two pins and hopefully take out the pins, but it's unusual. You gotta forget about the eight pin and go for the four five. Ooh. What do you think, Robert? A power player doesn't leave that very often. I left that spare uh, a couple of weeks ago and uh, had no clue of how to shoot at it, and he did it the right way. Power players very seldom leave spares or splits like the 457, the 45, the 57, or 810. Monicelli shows that he's got all the shots in his bag. He leads by 29. Leaving a four pen, and Leto, who finished second six times before he won his first title in Japan. Talk about concentration, dedication, perseverance. A little tired now, he told me, and uh, was going to take a week off uh, after the U.S. Open. His wife, Teresa, has gone back to Venezuela. Close. All right, we'll be back. To show how Firestone Firehawk tires perform, we occasionally take some of them for a little weekend drive. At the toughest tracks across the country, we put our Firestone Firehawk street performance tires, including the same SB radials you can buy, to the test in racing. Over a million miles now, and still counting. Firestone, tires that meet the test. Great weekend. Sure went fast. You? Yeah. 
Me. Russ, you have no eye for color. I'm picking out the paint. I know what I'm doing. I have no idea what I'm doing. You can do it, Russ. This True Test custom color system makes it easy to match colors, just like a decorator. Admit it, Ellen. I picked out the perfect colors. Yes, but <laughs> who would ever believe it? You can do it with True Value Hardware Stores. While we were away, Big Kelly, Kaufman, left a five in the fourth frame marked with a spare. Now here in the fifth has left the three, six, ten, struggling in the championship match against Amleto Monticelli. Putting in with uh, Bo and me, uh, last year's True Value winner from Austin, Texas, Robert Lawrence. Robert, the deep inside line looks like the best shot. What do you think, pal? I think it's the safest shot to the pocket. The ball speed looks very critical today. Good point. And let him on a telly. Described to us earlier the problem he experienced here in Peoria in 1989. Well, uh, that day when I came to the bowling center, I went to look for my bowling balls, and they weren't there. So I started panicking. I didn't know what happened, and, uh, and I found out they sent it to the next stop, which, uh, I don't know, I mean, it just uh, felt really bad, and I had to drill two bowling balls that day, and uh, they didn't really feel good. They were dull, and uh, the lanes were hooking, and, I mean, everything was uh, terrible. I just, uh, I didn't know what to do. I was... Uh, scare and when I when I went to bowl I said well do the best you can but um, it wasn't enough I mean my mind wasn't relaxed at all and I lost the game okay well Chris uh, all the bowling balls for most of the players are transpired forward by uh, our player services director Larry Lichtstein mm -hmm. and once again Monticelli was uncomfortable with the two new bowling balls that's very understandable Second in a U.S. Open, fifth in a PBA National. Really looking forward to next week. Hoping yep. to get that major. You're right. And look at the difference in the lanes. You saw Monticelli average 261 on this championship here. And Kelly Kaufman, a deep inside line, going around the ball return. Yeah. His first strike in this match coming in the sixth frame. Look out. <laughs> <laughs> A point to make here, you can use as much of the approach as you want on any particular shot as long as you don't interfere with a player on your left or right. So uh, Kelly Kaufman using the full approach, the extreme inside line. But as you said, Chris, this is where he starts to make his move, and it's mm -hmm. imperative he does it right now. He has never been 32 pins behind, and it's Monticelli as the opponent. Big frame. said, relax early, and gets with it later. And a little help, Robert. A lot of help there. Oh. Watch this pin action off the right-hand part of the screen. It's the three-pin goes to the sideboard, takes out the four-pin, an unusual strike. Kaufman's back in the match. Robert, that's similar to the shot you played to win last year, isn't it? Yeah, they were so tight, the ball just seemed to fall back all the way down the lane and with just a little bit of break at the end. Yeah, I think you made an excellent point there about the, the ball speed being critical. If you throw it too hard, it slides out. Too slow, it hooks high, but Monticelli seems right on. Has a chance to put this match 40, 32 pins ahead with a strike here in the eighth. shooting for his second win this year. Started out with a victory at Quaker State, fourth in the Bud Light, fifth at the Long Island Open. Watch the pin action on the left-hand part of your screen. Once again, the head pin will go to the sideboard and stop the five pin from taking out the seven. There it goes the sideboard and drives over and drives the four and the seven. And once again, we've almost seen Monticelli miss spares in the left-hand corner, so he'll go right at the seven pin. Monicelli. For a lot of players this week, 
300 games were something, and Bo and uh, Robert, those top two, that has to be a big thrill. Back-to-back -back 300 games, unusual has happened before. Look at Art Trask, uh, 300 in there, one of the veterans. Now Kelly Kaufman has a chance to make it a tight match, eighth frame. Broke up the split. Not much you can do. The professional bowlers, when they get loose, they can throw strikes on any lane condition, but here they're struggling. Kaufman expects this ball to what we call set up, doesn't, cuts through the back end, almost leaves the 4-9, simple spare, eighth frame. Next week, it's the United States Open at Woodland Bowl in Indianapolis. Second jewel in Bowling's Triple Crown, and then we finish it off with a third jewel of Bowling's Triple Crown, April 27th with the Firestone Tournament of Champions. Our first jewel of the Triple Crown won by Mike Miller last week, the PBA National. Now Kaufman has a chance to make it a match, ninth frame. Robert, that would have been a key shot for him, don't you think? I think he got a little fast with that one. He wanted that one too bad, I think. And that's something that uh, anybody would like to have, is they want it too much. What he needs to do is get the ball right in here and carry out the 2-5 into the 4. He's missed this once and converted it twice today. We're in Peoria, Illinois. We've been coming here since 1982. A city that's come back with the help of Ray Becker, proprietor here, and their popular mayor, James Maloof. And the Knight, looking for his 11th championship in a career spanning 10 years. 42 games, 18 qualifying. Ray Edwards led the first part of the match play, and then Monticelli took over. And Robert Lawrence, as it looks like Monticelli's going to go to the title, you notice he's improved his finish off at the line. Remember, he used to fall off balance a lot. And now he's lower, he's on balance, and he's holding that follow-through just a little bit tougher than he used to be. What do you think? I think he's real solid at the line, and a lot of that has to do with his physical conditioning now, and uh, that just really helps his balance. And his pocketbook's going to help by 39000 He's going to clean up this title, his second of the year, right here in the 10th. of 19,000 winning or being the runner-up. So if uh, that shot, that doubled at the end of the game, I'm Leto Monicelli with his brother Rodolfo, another PBM member, looking on 11 titles for the back-to-back -back player of the year. Okay, we're in Peoria. We're going back to New York, and here's a player of the year, Frank Gifford. Thank you very much, Chris. Coming up next on ABC's Wide World of Sports, the World Cup Gymnastics Championships, and we'll also have live coverage of the Santa Anita Derby presented by John Deere Lawn Care Dealers and same-day coverage of the Grand National Steeplechase. Well, with the baseball season just a couple of days away, Major League umpires have decided to strike the final two days of the exhibition season after negotiations broke off today between the Major Leagues and the Umpires Union. League presidents announced that they are prepared to start the season Monday with non-union umpires. We'll be back. With more bowling and Chris Schenkel right after this. Freedent's the one. Only one gum leads the way when you've got dental work. And that's Freedent. Freedent won't stick to your dental work. So you can be confident chewing it. And because it also moistens your mouth and freshens your breath. Freedent's in a class by itself. Stick free dent. Moistens your mouth and freshens your breath. Think any oil can protect your truck? When it works its hardest, revs its highest? Think again. Truck Guard from Shell. Truck Guard presents the roughest, toughest, wildest, the greatest sports moments of the 80s. Yours free with any oil change or case purchase of Truck Guard. Or $2.99 with a one-quart purchase from Shell. Professional service, a friendly face. That's your Big A Pro. Big A, the side that keeps your car running right. Then no better way to face the day. The 
morning belongs to Skin Bracer Aftershave. Its cool, brisk tingle really gets you going. And what a great scent. Skin Bracer. No better way to brace today, This makes me think simple, plain, tan, dull, zip, flakes. Hmm. Simple. Surprise. <laughs> Light. Crisp. Tasty. Toledo. I grew up in Toledo. Kellogg's Corn Flakes. Kellogg's Corn Flakes? I was going to say that. Taste them again for the first time. And Leto Monticelli, winning his second of the year. And you see the money on down. And with that 39,000, young man, you have moved second into the second spot. Money earned this year behind uh, Pete Weber. You must be shooting for that third player of the year title. I don't want to think about it now. It's too oh, long. No. <laughs> I, I want to do it the same way I've been doing it, you know, just week by week. And Worked out better. You had Rodolfo here, but not Teresa. No, she's home. She's coming for the Firestone. She's taking a week off. <laughs> I mean, a few weeks off. I have a couple of reminders here that you can send her down in Venezuela. Jerry Thompson, National Merchandise Manager of our host, uh, True Value, with that beautiful trophy. Another congratulations from the True Value Hardware Store of the French Country. Congratulations. I'd like to thank uh, Jerry from True Value and uh, to sponsor this town. I thought I couldn't get a 300. But uh, maybe next year, uh, I want to thank Landmark for uh, the great hospitality, great health club, and uh, coming back next year. Thank you. Speaking of Landmark, uh, Mr. Peoria here with $39,000, Ray Becker. Thank you, Chris. It's been a great week, and congratulations on your 11th win. On to Indianapolis. Yes, good night. Not to drive in the 500. No, definitely not. <laughs> you leave that to Emerson Fittipaldi, right? Definitely. Yeah. <laughs> okay. And Leto Monticelli, another round of applause, True Value champion. Thank you, Jerry. Thank you, Ray. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. See you next week from Indianapolis. The Pro Bowlers Tour has been brought to you by Firestone Tire and by Nonstick Freed and Gum. Non-stick Frida moistens your mouth and freshens your breath. This has been a presentation of ABC Sports, recognized around the world as the leader 